Hey guys, Goldwing TV here, and uh, today, as you can see, we're doing some Destiny gameplay uh, in the background. This is a moon mission. Uh, I, I don't know the number of the mission. I totally forget what it's called. But uh, this is when you open the grave uh, in the catacombs of the moon. Uh, so yeah, this story is about... Um, well, grade five, my crazy psycho teacher, all right? So this is gonna be kind of a long story. Um, so sit back, you can pause the video, go get some chips, some drinks, whatever, you know? Just lay back, watching the video. And like, it's kind of funny how crazy this teacher was, but yeah. Um, okay, so let's start it off, okay. So, grade five, all right? So this is like, I'm like in the little Timmy stage, right? So, I'm like, I'm about 11 or 10, 10 or 11, something like that, probably 10. Um, and yeah, so this is grade five. I have never been to a public school before. I've always been in a private school. Uh, that's just how I was raised. So grade five, I was just starting to get into that public school type thing. Um, so I'm there, right? So I get there. I have no idea what's going gonna happen. Uh, if people are gonna like me or not, whatever. You know, just the random stuff. Not that I really cared about it, but I was kind of shy at that time. I'm not that shy anymore anymore like I just don't know how to speak to adults like the easiest it's kind of awkward because it's like I don't know they just don't know how we think anyways so um basically I'm there and then I meet my teacher because my mom actually worked at that school she was a grade 8 teacher there uh, and uh, for personal reasons, she's not working on anymore. Um, so yeah, that happened in like grade six. But anyways, um, so basically uh, I met the teacher. She seemed pretty nice, you know, she was nice to me and stuff at the beginning. Um, and yeah, all was good. Basically the first two or three weeks, she was literally I, like, I'm not even joking, all day for the first three weeks, she was showing us around the classroom. I'm not even over-exaggerating. It was three weeks long of us sitting in our desk. It's like, oh, this is where the computer is. Look at that for 10 minutes. Oh, this is blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so yeah, um, that was the first three weeks. Okay, so then... I'm gonna skip until like about like a couple months after she introduces us this like point thing so like you get a certain amount of points when you answer a question and stuff and but you get like docked an amount of points and stuff when you do something bad or something uh, so what these points did is if you had like a hundred or something like that uh, by the end of like a certain time you get to go and kind of like have this type of party thing where you go and watch a movie and stuff and um, yeah so that was pr I thought that was pretty cool like I never really had problems with that at the start and then uh, I met this like I met my friend Dayton uh, we don't really talk anymore. I don't really know him anymore because I kind of left that school later on. But uh, we were friends. And then I feel like I started getting more and more popular. And then she started hating me more and more because I kind of, I don't know, blur things out in class. I, like, I was a good kid. I wasn't a bad kid. I, like, I wouldn't even blur things out in class. Like, I'd, like, I'd talk in class and stuff. But that's because 
I was reacting to what she was doing. I was trying to make a point. But anyways, so skip on to that. She brings, this is when she starts to like hate me, right? She brings this like board thing in where it's like, it's like a color board where it's green at the top and then it goes down like to yellow is medium and then red is low. Uh, and she docks, like she, she kind of not marks, but, uh, like she shows you how your day is like for behavior and okay. It was the most biased thing because everybody knew who her, uh, like class favorites and stuff were right. And they would be in the green all day and they would be like on their phones texting they'd be talking to people all day and stuff in class like yelling and stuff like they were the worst kids but they were her favorites for some reason i don't know why but uh they were all girls too surprise because she's a girl teacher so kind of sexist um but um so that happened and i was kind of pissed about that right and i would always be in the red and every guy in that classroom would always be in the red like always um and so we were pissed all the time because like we we would be completely silent we'd try to like be perfect all day and we'd be in the red and then like she'd get us in trouble and stuff like that it's it was, it was stupid um, so this one time, uh, because she was doing that, she was kind of like being like, excuse my language, but she was being a bitch to me. All right. She was being a big bitch to me. Um, so this one time I was like, okay, since we didn't have phones, but we had like DS lights at this time, um, Dayton and I would like, cause she separated us, of course. So, you know that Pixo chat thing on the old DS lights? I think they have a new version on the 3DS and stuff. But those Pixo chat things, we'd like link up and we'd be like texting in class all the time on those Pixo chat things. It was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, we'd be like te communicating that way. Um, and then this one time she takes my, uh, she takes my DS and puts it in her um, in her desk, like, drawer thing, right, so she's, like, uh, she catches me, and she takes it, and puts it in her drawer, and this is what pisses students off, if there's any teachers watching this, don't take students' things, like, this happened to me all the time, if you take my stuff, I will flip a gasket on you. I will blow a gasket on you. Because, like, that's not your things. Really, I could sue you for touching my things. Like, really, I could. And I'd probably win because you you literally took one of my things. There's no rule in the law book, or there's no law that says you can take somebody else's things if you're in a school. Or anywhere. You can't touch other people's things. Like, unless you're their parent and stuff, but you're not my parent. So, it's like, you're not my dad. Anyways, um, so this pisses students off. So, teachers, if you're watching this, don't do that. Or else, like, that's how you make enemies in the school. So, that pisses us off, right? So, Dayton's like, dude, that's that's bullshit. So, I'm, I'm going to get this for you. So, he went and got it for me. And then he gave it to me. Like, I knew that this was a bad idea. Like, something bad is going to happen from this. Like, I was like, I can't really put it back. Because once he gave it to me, uh, the teacher walked in. So I had to hide it. Like, I wasn't going to throw my friend under the bus or anything. And I also kind of thought, like, you know, I should have this. But at the same time, it's not going to result in anything good. And I really don't need it. There's like an hour left in the day. I really don't need it, but, um, yeah, so that happened, so I, I just hit it for the rest of the day, and at the end of the day, 
she was like, oh, I'll get you, um, I'll get, I'll give your DS back. And I was like, oh, crap. And then, like, I was about to leave because I was like, uh, I don't, I, I do not want to be here. And, yeah, she, she, uh, she found out that it was not there. She's like, it's not here. And I was like, yeah, I kind of have it. I don't, I, I didn't rat my friend. I'm not a snitch, all right? I'm not going to snitch my friend off. But, like, yeah, that happened, and it wasn't that great. Um, so, she got really pissed. Like, I mean, like, livid. And then, she literally, I think she grabbed me by my ear. Yeah, she grabbed me by my ear, because my mom was waiting out front in the car. Because it was like a 15 minute drive home. And she grabbed me by my ear and, like, like, walked me outside to my mom's car. And, um, she walked me there and she was just, like, not yelling at my mom, but she was, like, like, mean voicing my mom and stuff. She was like, your son has been doing this and this and this and this and stuff. And it's like, half the things she said I was doing, I didn't even do. Like, that's exactly what her favorites were doing. Oh, well, the girls were doing, which would always be on the green. But, um, yeah, that, that happened. So she was, she said that. And then, of course, I got in trouble. Like, I couldn't do, I couldn't play video games. I couldn't, uh, do literally, I couldn't, I couldn't hang out with my friends or do anything. Uh, during the weekend. I could watch movies and stuff, but like, guys, that was like the most boring weekend. Alright? Um, so, yeah, that happened. And here's another thing. So, like, maybe a month after, or whatever, um, I'm, it, it, we're doing presentations, right? We're doing these funny presentations for a cereal box thing, because we're learning about um, what do you call it? Uh, like, commercials and stuff. Like, um, advertising. And we were supposed to make our own cereal box. And the guy I was doing it with, like, he was a cool kid, you know. He was pretty chill. Um, his name's Cole. Um, and he had, he, he has disabilities right like he is i think he's got like asperger's or autism something like that i'm not being rude he was pretty cool um but he has that and you're i'm not just saying that just to call him out on that like no i'm i'm just saying that because it's gonna come in the story in a bit so he has that right and what i'm during the presentation uh i'm videotaping some people um, some of them I had permission. They're like, oh yeah, that'd be cool. Can you videotape for this for me? So I'm videotaping them. And I was just videotaping other people too because it was funny. And they really didn't care. And, um, so, yeah, that happens. So then it's time for us to go up. We go up. Um, and we both made our own cereal box thing. And surprisingly she was like whoa Noah that's really good because I put a lot of work into it like um yeah I put a lot of work into it so uh and then his was like of course it, it you know it, it wasn't anything special um but it was like it was a cereal box with like blue uh, a lot of blue and then um some pictures on it and she was like, oh, that's really cool, Noah, which I was surprised. And then uh, she was like, oh, but Cole, that's uh, that's not good at all. Like, you could have done a lot better than that. <laughs> Dude, this kid's disabled. You don't say that. Like, you have to be encouraging. Like, I know you don't want to, like, uh, what do you call that? Not goldfish, but, like, sugar or something, them. But, like, uh, like... You don't need to honeycomb them, but, like, you have to 
you gotta give him something. You can't say that. That's very, like, the way she said it, too, was, like, the most rude thing. Like, it wasn't like, oh, that's good, Cole, but, like, um, you could have improved on this. No, it was, like, it, she was pretty much saying your, your cereal box thing is trash, all right? So, yeah, it was pretty rude. So, that happened, and I, I, I was gonna say something. I was like, well, like, you're a bitch, so shut up. Get off his, get off his dick. Sorry for my language on this, by the way, but, um, yeah. Um, so, later, at the end of the day, she, at the end of, near the end of the presentations, I was still recording, like, people that I thought their presentations were funny, and people I knew, um, and she caught me doing that. And, of course, she takes my, um, she takes my iPod, which I was filming on. Uh, now this was just, like, one of those iPod nanos, so it wasn't anything special. It just played music, and then there's, like, games like Vortex on it and stuff. And it was the new one, so it had the camera. And I, I think I, like, just got it. And it was, like, super new at that time. I don't even think iPod Touches were a thing. I think maybe that first iPod Touch was out by now. Um, but, yeah. So, um, yeah. She catches me. She takes it, of course. And it's, like, like it, it's not even bad. Like, what, am I supposed to, like, I'm paying attention. I'm not, like, saying things during it like what are, are we learning from other people's presentations and I, I'm kind of paying attention to the presentation even more because I'm filming it um but she takes it and I'm like okay and at the end of the class when we get back to my class she's like she kind of like flips out on me she's like um you're you can't film people like that's illegal and stuff and it's like like, of course, I didn't know what was illegal and what's not illegal. And, two, I don't know, like, how am I supposed to know that? I've been a, in a private school my whole life. Um, back, backside story, uh, I, I struggled through public school once I got there. No joke, I'm not over-exaggerating or anything. If you look at my grade 5 report card, it shows from for math, I think it was, um, my grade goes from an A plus, I was an A plus student, to a C minus, not even over exaggerating, but that's beside the fact, um, so she, she's yelling at me, like, if I had known that it's not illegal at all, it's like, like, it, it's, it, there's nothing wrong with filming. You can film whoever you want, wherever you want. You couldn't have a GoPro on all day. Nobody can do anything about it. If you're making a crap ton of money from it, nobody can take the money. Like, there's no law there. And I hate it when people say there's a law behind that. There's no law behind filming people. You can film whoever you want. The government films you all day. So, I think you can film other people, too. But, anyways, she, in my, so we had planners. I don't know if you guys know what those are or not. Um, but, in our school, we had planners. And we would, um, like, write things, like, what to do for homework and stuff on it. And then our parents would check it and stuff. And... She wrote, like, a message to my mom, like, a big paragraph on how I did that and how it was so bad. So, of course, when I left the school, I just ripped it out. I just ripped the page out and threw it in the garbage. The next day, I get there, and she's like, oh, did your mom, like, give you a slap on the face, like, tell you to smarten up? And it's like, you don't say that to people? Like, holy crap, you're crazy. Like, I didn't say that, obviously, but... I was just like, yeah, I just played it cool. And then the next day, or not the next day, 
uh, in the afternoon, we're in music class. I forgot something in the class, so I go back to get it. She's on the phone with my mom because she thought she had to, like, call my mom to make sure that she got the message. Um, and she was on the phone with my mom. Like, and I came in there, and they were talking, and she was like, oh, well, your mom said this. And she was, yeah, she was like, your mom said that she didn't get any message and stuff. And I was like, oh crap, I'm screwed. Um, and then at the end of the day, my mom was like, oh, I'm disappointed that you didn't show me this thing. She wasn't angry at me because she's a cool mom and stuff, but like, she was just like way over exaggerating. Like the teacher is just over exaggerating. And um, they were like, uh, my mom was like, well, Mrs. Schilling said, that she was just gonna write that message just so you knew not to do it again. And like, dude, no, she wasn't. You don't say that, oh, did your mom give you a slap in the face and tell you to, um, to smarten up? One, that's child abuse. Two, my mom would never do that. And three, I didn't do anything wrong. And then she a tries to act like the best teacher ever in front of my mom, of course. Like, oh, it's like a conspiracy. Pissed me off. Um, yeah, I, it just, it just pissed me off. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe to Anna and Enterprises. Also subscribe to me. That would be great. Um, and HD Gamers 2016. He's a pretty cool YouTuber. He makes all sorts of uh, good uh, Call of Duty gameplays and other things, uh, other gameplays and stuff. Uh, he's a cool dude, uh, and you guys should check him out. Uh, this has been Goldwing TV. Make sure to like the video, comment, and do everything there. Share it, whatever you want. If you don't want to, that's all totally okay. Also, you can uh, check out Gamershore 2.0 if you want to try and uh, try out to be on Gamershore. We do all types of live streams and competitive matches and stuff. Uh, you can check that out. And also, check out my Twitch. Sorry, this is going on forever, but check out my Twitch. Uh, I don't think it's in the description, but you can find it uh, on the home screen. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Don't forget to slap that like button. Sorry, I just had to say that.